Okay, hello YouTubers, Give it Zoa here, and I have just been experimenting with Windows Movie Maker 6.0, and that's for Vista. Now, <coughs> excuse me, we're very, um, I've been dealing with Windows Movie Maker 2011, I changed it because I was trying to work on those, uh, Grand Theft Auto videos with all the, uh, flying cars, and, and all those are separate clips, they're not all one clip, I had about maybe 30 clips of that. And I had to modify each and every one of them, cut out the garbage stuff, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. Anywho, moving on. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, in part of um, modifying or editing and clipping, uh, Uno Movie Maker 2011 decided to have a heart attack and leave some clips blank when, obviously, when I was editing them, they were not blank. So I got rid of uh, 2011 and I tried to get to uh, 6.0 again. Now, I have no issues with 6.0, honestly, I have to say that, no issues whatsoever. Uh, the only thing it didn't have was the HD profiles, at, which at the time when I started using them, it, I didn't think it had them. But now that I just checked again and did a little more research, I found some HD profiles. I'll be putting this zip file, I, I will... Where, is it, where did this come from? I leave it as 7 forums. I'll be putting this on my Mediafire account and putting it in the Windows description. Uh, video description, sorry. So what you're going to do is open this, or extract it to the desktop. And what you're going to do is, here's the Windows Make Movie Maker installer. You're going to install this. And you have the instructions here if you guys want to follow along. Um, install this. Now, I believe you can u even use this on XP, but I don't think it's tested. But if you have... I don't see why you would want to do it on Vista, neither, unless you got the copy of Vista that didn't have it. But, this is for Windows 7, I'm gonna just say I'm covering Windows 7 only, leave me alone. Uh, now, I guess this is 32-bit as well, since it's in my 32-bit folder. I know there's a couple of people made it, made, uh, installers for 64-bit and 32-bit, but whatever. So this is going into your 32-bit system, so you don't have to worry about the 64 or 36 and blah blah. So you install it. And what you're gonna do here is you have a folder called Profiles. You're gonna copy or cut, and then paste it into your C program files 82 and Movie Maker. Blah blah blah. Where is it? Where is it? Um. Okay. And then into your shared folder. And here's what it should look like once it once you install Movie Maker and put the profiles here. And you have four profiles. Now, um. This profile and this profile are for uh, 4.3 aspect ratios. This profile and this profile is obviously for 16.9 aspect ratios. Uh, let's see. I'm going to cancel this out. Now, I don't know who to give props for this to, but if I do find out, I will mention it in the video description and in another video. So, you know, don't message me with hate mail saying, oh, that's my idea, I did it. Okay, well, you know, fine. I'm not saying it wasn't my idea. I didn't do this. I didn't make this, but I appreciate whoever did. So now what you're going to do is start up Movie Maker. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, Tools, Options, and Advanced. And I'm already there. What you're going to do is make sure the video format is NTSC, or if you're in Europe, I guess you're going to set it to PAL. And you're going to set it to 16.9 instead of 4.3. Uh, and that's if you're doing the 16.9 um, HD uh, setting. So now what you do is just cancel out of this. Or, uh, see, uh, you would normally click OK, but whatever. I don't get that. And let me just import a video. Oh, really, game. New video. Oh, right, right, right. That's right, that's right. Um, let me go to... Um, oh, for Christ's sakes, where am I going? All right, let's stop. Let's go to convert video. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, where's converted video? There it is. And we'll use this video that I just did to show you guys the GTA 4 mod. Okay, now, let's just say you drag it down here and you're done. Now, here's something that's key. You're not going to click here. If you click here, it's not going to work. Watch, I'll show you the prime example. It shouldn't work anyway. Yeah, see, it doesn't show up here. So, what you're going to do is go to File, and then Publish. And I'm wondering if there's a fix for that, that a workaround. I mean, you know, if anyone knows, let me know. Because I would rather click there than File, but whatever. So, click on My Computer, or The Computer. And then, whatever movie it is, blah, blah, so on and so forth. And then what you do is come down here to more settings, 
And then there you go. Here you go, all your HD settings, and then you just make it into HD and so on and so forth. I'll show you guys a file. No, let me just remove that. Hold on. Remove, oh, okay. Let me show you guys the file that I did with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Converted video. Mm, I hate you, game. Here's the uh, Grimfield Little Glory video. Here it is in all the HD glory it is. And it did it in 24 frames per second. What suck? <laughs> but it's good. I mean, the clarity is good. There's going to be no sound to this, but let me show you the clarity. I mean, for a game, uh, this is very clear. You know, for this game anyway. But that's it. And that's how you get Windows Movie Maker 6.0 with HD support. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me or post comments. This is Skifizo, and I am out. If I could find the key, like in the last video, I did not. I think it stopped, I don't know. Alright, yeah, done.